Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the never ending saga of the weeds. Mm -hmm. They're forever growing. Yeah. Hard work. And we can't take can't put anything on them, can we, because of the dogs no. and the cats. Yeah. Hi. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to paradise. It's absolutely glorious day today. Uh, we back down in the kitchen today, outside kitchen. Yes. We're gonna start working on the inside, taking a little rest from the roof because all week we've been very up high <laughs> working and uh, <laughs> on those, what do you call those <coughs> things? <coughs> scaffolding. Not, we've scaffolding, been working on... not very stable. <laughs> So we've been working up on the scaffolding all week, so we decided to stay... At the other house. Yeah. Uh, we decided to stay on ground level today. Uh, quite exciting because uh, what we plan today is uh, going to transform the inside of that kitchen. this well you're cleaning the brushes why didn't you clean it so my wife has this terrible habit of using things and never cleaning them afterwards and no that's not quite true it's very true you and remember the trowel the big trowel i bought and then you decided to use it and then you left it with concrete on it yeah yeah i remember that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> she never cleans anything <laughs> that is not true. You've got clean socks on. I've got <laughs> clean socks, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have clean socks, but you don't clean my tools. You use them and then you abuse them. Well, but you need to buy me my own tools then. Uh, well, I do buy you your own tools and you use them and abuse them as well. <laughs> I know it's still the yeah, but second tears outside. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Why is this having a go at yeah. Christina, having a pop? Oh, I don't be like that. No, don't be like that. Why do I have you around to clean my mess? Yeah, I clean yours, you can clean mine. This is very true, you do clean my mess because I am a messy person. Yeah, so well, maybe I picked it up from you. <laughs> <laughs> this is very exciting, I'm really looking forward to seeing you do this. It's going to be uh, yeah, it's, uh, really I don't, nice. Don't know. I think it can pick up the, the design, but uh, yeah, I've got my glass paint ready. And uh, I just need to clean it thoroughly and then start. Yeah. Good. Good. Excellent. Right, I've scraped the walls down, got rid of any loose paint to anything that's going to uh, cause a problem. And then up here, uh, this little gap here, just fill it with a decorator's flexible cork. Um, just to make it a little bit neat and tidy. And then that way, when it comes to painting it and all those things, it just looks neater. So a little splodge, it doesn't have to be messes. Just enough to fill that gap. There. And then we just move it out. And if you don't overfill it, you don't get that massive splodge of. So what I do when I'm uh, uh, corking these uh, walls just to get rid of the gaps is I get one of these rolls of paper 
and I just rub the excess off my hand or off the gun and then you just fold it over and you just keep going and that way you don't have scrunches of paper and tissue everywhere and then you can just rip it off when you're done so it's uh, a lot easier that way so while James is preparing the walls to be painted I just take the opportunity to pick up some of these horrible weeds that we can't get rid of Right, so why we, while, um, be, de, de, be, be, be. boom. <laughs> okay, so while we're doing this painting, we'll uh, send you over to the village house so you can see what we were doing earlier on in the week there. Okay, so my job today is to fix this roof. Um, I'm going to be putting down a waterproof um, compound. First of all, I've got to level it off. What I've done is I swept it all and I've uh, I soaked the roof with water to see where the puddles were. And now I've marked all the low points that need to be fixed. So that would be the job today. And then tomorrow when that's set, I will be leveling off, well not leveling off, but putting this uh, waterproof compound down uh, to make the roof watertight. Right, so what I've done there is I've created a, uh, a bond between the wall and the floor with an adhesive cement and then what I'll do is I'll let that go off a little bit and then I'll, I'll form it into a, a cove uh, and that will help any water that runs down the wall and any water that possibly runs towards the wall won't penetrate the 90 degree angle of the, uh, the wall to the floor. So, Sorted. Now we have to wait and watch paint dry <laughs> to carry on. <laughs> it's time for a cup of tea, isn't it? It certainly is. So first coat of paint on. Uh, he's still got to do up there. We're going to do that slightly different colour. Um, but what are you doing, Christina? <laughs> I am going to paint this window, this glass. And uh, what are you going to paint it with? I've got some glass paint. I must be honest, I've never done this before. <laughs> so this is an experiment, very, very exciting. And I think if it's like any paint, you just put the brush in and paint it. <laughs> Simples. <laughs> Simples. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is we just got the primary colors. So I don't know, we're going to <laughs> blend them in. Well, it's easy to just mix primary colours to make another colour. Okay. Well, you know that. I know that, but uh, I don't know how quick this thing dries. Okay, so I think what Christina's saying is that the glass paint is a spirit-based paint. So when you mix two together, you've got to start working fairly fast. Unless, of course, you're mixing a batch in a bottle, which we don't want to do. We just want to blend colours as we go. So... Uh, uh, obviously, speed is of the essence, I would say. Yeah, I'm just taking the bit of fluff from the cloth that I cleaned the window with and take any little loose bits. And I'm just all excited. <laughs> it's going to be really good or really crap. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, that's a bit... Um... Um, did you shake the bowl? Yeah. That's a bit... Uh, 
Well, yeah, but you made Uneventful. Two coats. Yeah, that was... Uh... Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It looks like the oh, same... Oh, it actually looks really good. Same colour that was here before, doesn't it? I wonder if I put a bit on the plate. Yeah, maybe you need a little pop. Just to put something so you can, yeah. Let's shake it a bit more. Yeah. Oh, well, it's... Yeah, it's good. I don't know if that shows up, but it, it's green. I, I assume you just got to put... More coats. More, mm, couple of coats. Okay. Let's carry on, shall we? Oh, it smells. Oh. Right, that's better. You didn't shake it, did you? I did. But obviously not enough. Well, I'm going to go around the other side of the glass so you can see Christina's face and the, <laughs> uh, her concentration. <laughs> her fun concentration face. Oh, she. Yeah. The, the tongue's not out yet. Normally the tongue comes out. Oh, I, I think it's going to work. Yeah. So we'll we'll come back to that. See how Christina's doing a bit later on. Hit the road, Jay. Don't come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jay. Don't come back no more, no more. Hey. How you doing? Uh, yeah. I do I create, uh, what do I use to do purple? Blue and red? What does blue and red give you? Brown? No, blue and green give you brown. Blue and green give you brown, so blue and red give you purple. Yeah. Okay, shall we try that? You do whatever you want, my brother. Shall we just try pur purple because I like purple? Uh, I should imagine it's red with a dot of oh, blue. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do red. Not exactly what I wanted, <laughs> but oh, it's so hard to see. Yeah, but the flowers on top against the sky they look yeah look amazing. Sense. Well, with this artistic street, you'll soon be doing <laughs> quotes on a beach. Hello. Hello. What are you up to? Oh, you know, diddly doodling. Yeah. Just uh, putting this. Uh, insulating the rooftop. Insulating the roof against agua. Against agua. That's uh, that's great. And what's this stuff? Aqua zip. Uh, it's called agua zip. Yeah. So it's going to have a couple of coats of that, isn't it? Cut the coat, put the first coat down, put the meshing down, the fiber meshing. And then you put the... Uh, A50? Huh? Is it A50? A50. No, apparently you finish this... With that? With that. Again, so it'll have another, another coat skimmed over it. But, you know, it looks like it's very sticky. It's like a silicon yeah. product. Well, we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. So, what you got to say? <laughs> it's a good experience. It's not quite what I expected. I thought it was going to be all, like all smooth, but as soon as it touches the glass, it kind of dries. So it's difficult to blend it in. But for a first attempt, I'm quite happy. Now I'm going to fill in the block colour which uh, we're going to take the window out and have to do it in a flat surface. And uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what it turns up like. 
but I actually think it looks really good. So, well done. Excellente. Are you watching me? I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Just... It's not going to fall backward. In... Not... No, it can't go that way. Okay. Let yeah. me come forwards. Okay. Do you want me to go and push it? Push it, push it down, just gently. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. So, today's problem is that uh, we have a room in the house a bedroom and a little while ago <laughs> uh, the the with the wind shut it yeah the, well no we shut the door oh yes yeah, so we shut the door we shut the door <clears throat> and now the door won't open because i think the latch has dropped within the mechanism somehow and i'm trying to work out how to fix it because i can't get anything it's hard to explain but I, I can't get in there and I'm trying to work out I'm gonna to have to drill a hole somewhere but the biggest problem is that um, we run out of tea bags and there's a <laughs> <laughs> there's a box no tea bag. <laughs> there's a big box of tea bags PG tips in this room and I want a cup of tea and <laughs> it might get desperate I might have to kick the door down but uh, that's a little problem of today but uh, no doubt I'll sort it out. But uh, I've got to, I think I've got to drill a hole somewhere, but I'm, I, I need to spend some time thinking about it before I just butcher the, the lock and door. So uh, that's the problem for today. I'm sure you'll solve it. Yeah, I will. I will. Okay. Anyway, time to get on. Yeah, back on. Yeah, this uh, light strip needs to come down. I just need to cap off the electricity. We are going to put some more lights up, but I'm not sure whether we're going to go up into the ceiling somehow, or we'll probably have wall lights there as well, or something, I'm not sure. But uh, I need to take those down, take that one down, and then I can paint this wall. Just got a cork up there. Paint it, so that'd be nice to get that done. It's, uh, it's not screwed into the wall, it's nailed. <laughs> and you're dead. So I just basically insulated that uh, bit of wiring at the end just to make sure no liquid or anything gets to it when I paint the wall.
How are you getting on? It's good, it's good. It's going a long way. I thought couldn't be doing so many, but it's stretching. It's nice. Obviously you can't tell it just yet because of the towel underneath, so it's not showing the colours. But mm. uh, once it's dry and we lift it up, it'll be fantastical. Mm -hmm. I've been looking forward to do this for so long. Mm. Excellent. Okay, so as you can see, it's very neat and the tool I was using is this little uh, silicon thing, spreader. Um, and I recommend anyone gets one of these because they uh, eliminate all the messy splodging of uh, uh, when you apply silicon. You want it to be nice and neat. This is the excess silicon that I've taken off. If you use your finger, that pretty much all that is still up there and it's spread over the frame here. Uh, and this eliminates any, any overspilling, spreading it everywhere. And there's something really terrible about when you silicon a, uh, anything, be it, a sink, uh, anything you silicon, is that we have a tendency to put it on, drag it across with our fingers, lick our finger, do this, which is fine when you're doing cork, the decorated, the flexible filler, but when you put silicon on, it's always good to have a really neat finish. And there's nothing worse than spending all that time doing a job, and then you, you mess it up with the silicon. So one of these bad boys, which is a creamer. Oh, you know, this happens to be the one I've got, but um, this is called Kramer. It's made in Germany. Excellent. It saves time and it makes it look really neat. So I always use one of these. Um, highly recommended. So that's the final product and James is going to put it in place now. Let's see how it turned out. Have you got anything to say before you put it up? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> no, I'm just going to put it up. Let's, right, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Drum roll. I saw what you put it in order on the floor. I did, but I moved them. <laughs> Surely they're the same, aren't they?
Okay, windows done, looking fabulous. Very good, very good. Well done, you. Thank you. Okay, so ignore that bit over there. Uh, we've fixed the walls, painted them, brightened it all up. And uh, next week we shall be doing something else. else. <laughs> anyway, on that note, we're off to celebrate Christina's birthday uh, and have a day off. So uh, we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Ciao.